the conspiracy of silence at Penn State University that protected a predator while ignoring his victims is worthy of the national revulsion now directed at the once proud institution. And the scandal is only going to get bigger as the investigation digs deeper and the extent of Penn State's web of deceit is exposed. What we know now is sickening enough. In the grand jury report, graduate assistant Mike McQuarrie, now a coach at Penn State, says he saw a 10-year-old boy being raped by coach Jerry Sandusky in the shower. McQuarrie then went home and told his dad, who told him to go tell Joe Paterno, and Paterno told the athletic director, and nobody called the police. The fact that McQuarrie still has his job at Penn State proves the university still doesn't get it. But there's something more. We all need to do a better job of protecting these children. Children like 13-year-old Christian Choate of Gary, Indiana, who spent most of the last year of his life in a dog cage, abused by his father and stepmother. They found his remains earlier this year. His parents are charged with murder. At least 13 other people knew about the abuse and didn't report it to police, including his pediatrician who told Children's Services and then did nothing more. When investigators found the dog cage, they also found a letter from Christian who wrote, when is somebody going to come and save me? There are many other children just like Christian who are waiting for somebody to save them. 2,500 children die every year from child abuse in this country. That's an average of seven a day. And that's why I've started a petition to enact Christian's law, making it a felony if you know about child abuse and fail to report it to police, a felony that comes with a mandatory prison sentence. Just like the children at Penn State, Christian Choate deserve better. In both cases, people that should have known better ignored their horror. If we do nothing now to protect children, we're ignoring them again.